I have been asked several times which is the best therapy for healing the soul. Sorry to disappoint you, but I can't answer to that question because it's not up to me. It's up to the person seeking healing. There are many therapies which have worked for some people, even though they are part of alternative medicine and are not defined as proper medical therapies. I cannot afford to recommend a particular therapy. I believe in medicine, neurology, brain chemistry, and psychiatry. But everyone is free to believe in what they want and experiment with whatever healing techniques they want, as long as it doesn't harm them. I have seen how certain ancient teachings or quotes which have become mottos have transformed someone's life. And when I say quotes, I don't mean some stupid lyrics or the speech of some celebrity who likes to hear herself talking. I mean the Confucius teachings for example. This philosophy is based on the quotes of Confucius. Confucius left nothing in writing. His words were later immortalized by his disciples in the form of a dialogue after the master's death. The most famous dialogue is the Lun Yu, which contains the disputes between the disciples in 20 chapters. Confucius's philosophy is about ethics. He never talks about metaphysical issues. His thoughts are about life and people. The principle of purpose is to create a perfect state of mind. Confucianism seeks to create the ideal man. I have seen people to whom faith in God helped and changed their lifestyle. And they end up living a better life and in peace with all the monsters that ruled their mind and soul. I have seen how certain energy therapies have worked wonders for certain people. I know people who have experienced Reiki therapy for example, and been satisfied with the result. Other energy healing techniques are Pranic healing, therapeutic touch, Reiki, and Kigum, among others. Reiki technique is known worldwide. Is a Japanese energy therapy technique in which the personal energy of the therapist is not used, but he used the universal energy. Rei means spirit, universal, and Ki means energy. Vital energy or life force is an abandoned scientific concept. Do not forget that. There are various schools of energy healing, including biofield energy healing, spiritual healing, contact healing or distant healing. Spiritual healing occurs among practitioners who do not see traditional religious faith as a prerequisite for effecting cures. Faith healing by contrast takes place within a traditional or non-denominational religious context such as with some televangelists. The Buddha is often quoted by practitioners of energy medicine. But he did not practice hands-on or off healing. I do not criticize these types of therapies because in ancient China, energies were seen as very important forces with miraculous healing powers and some therapeutic techniques are still preserved today. The ancient Chinese described qi as life force. They believed it permeated everything and linked their surroundings together. Qi was also linked to the flow of energy around and through the body, forming a cohesive functioning unit. By understanding the rhythm and flow of Qi, they believed they could guide exercises and treatments to provide stability and longevity. Four major philosophical currents developed in Chinese philosophy, Taoism, Confucianism, Buddhism and Maoism. Buddhism is the most known and it's originated in India in the 6th century BCE and it spread, being now a very divided religion, without a common sacred language and without a strict, clearly formulated dogma. With approximately 600 million followers worldwide, Buddhism is the world's fourth largest religion after Christianity, Islam and Hinduism. According to Buddhist philosophy, the existence and the world in general, has three characteristics. 1. Impermanence. 2. Non-self and three, dissatisfaction or pain. In Buddhism, the individual existence of man brings suffering precisely because it is a mere synthesis of impersonal and impermanent factors subject to destruction. The core of Buddhist teachings consists of the four noble truths expounded in the Banaras Sermon. The first truth concerns suffering or pain. For Buddhist everything is suffering. Birth, old age, sickness, death, Everything is suffering. 
And, the fourth truth reveals the ways that lead to the cessation of suffering. The Buddha offering a meaning by which desires cannot be fulfilled but can be suppressed. The idea of suffering dominates the entire Buddhist philosophy, but Buddhism is not pessimistic. The concept of suffering comes neither from pessimism nor from nihilism, but from realism. Buddhism excels in critical realism. Buddhism is seen as a religion, a philosophy and a lifestyle. After Buddhism, Hinduism is another philosophy that helps through the teachings it promotes. Hindu teaching has two concepts at its core, karma, or deed, and samsara, reincarnation. Thus, the soul participates in a continuous existential cycle, birth-death-rebirth, determined by the good or bad deeds it performed in a previous life. Liberation from the succession of reincarnations is done through self-effort, through the purification of life and through psychophysical exercises, yoga. The yoga technique involves the practice of several physical and spiritual exercises. There are many therapeutic healing techniques. In fact, anything which can be perceived as pleasurable, or something beneficial, or what you like or enjoy doing it, can be considered therapeutic. Walking in nature, riding, cleaning, cooking, music or aromatherapy. Even aroma is considered a therapy which gives good results. Aromatherapy uses herbal materials and plant oils, including essential oils, and other aroma compounds to enhance psychological or physical well-being. Aromatherapy is used as a complementary therapy or as a form of alternative medicine. Two basic mechanisms are indicated to explain the claimed effects. One is the influence of aroma on the brain, especially in the limbic system via the olfactory system. The other is the direct pharmacological effect of essential oils. However, do not forget that aromatherapy is seen as a pseudoscience, as a fraud. Anything can give results if you believe in that something. It's all about the faith and about what made you to believe in that something, but your faith will not cure your health problems, it will only comfort your soul. Please make some distinguish between health problems and spiritual healing. Because it can make the difference between life and death. Don't forget that these are only helpful therapies in addition to the treatment recommended or the therapy applied by a doctor, a real doctor. For any health problem, contact your doctor. Contact your GP first. Until next time stay safe and don't forget to smile.